it's Charlie, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be a book haul. Um, this is going to be the last book haul that I do now until after Christmas, just because when December arrives, I like to stop buying books completely or as best as I can, just because I get quite a lot of books bought for me usually for Christmas. Um, and it kind of spoils it if I'm just buying them all anyway. So yeah, this will be the last one that I do before Christmas now, but it is a absolutely huge one. Literally, I've got bags and bags of books to show you guys. I've got a bit crazy this month. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go straight in with it. I'm not going to keep mumbling for about six hours, because otherwise this video will be about 17 hours long. So, the first book that I got is the one that I'm currently reading, and that is The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks. By the way, apologies for the lighting. I know it's crap. But I just couldn't find anywhere to film today where the lighting is good. It's in the it's quite late in the evening now, so it's already dark. Um, but yeah, I'm doing my best. So yeah, um, this is The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks. As I say, I'm currently reading this at the moment. Um, prior to this, I read Black Rabbit Summer, also by Kevin Brooks. And I loved it so much that I went straight out and bought this book. And I have to say, I'm loving this one just as much. He is fast becoming one of my favourite writers now. Um... Once I've read this one, I'm talk a bit more about him in um, my review that I'll do. I'm going to talk about both of those books that I've read by him. So, yeah, I've got that one. Um, I then went to my local comic book um, shop and I picked up a couple of graphic novels and a couple of um, the first two volumes in a manga series. So the manga series is Dead Man in Wonderland and I got volume two, uh, volume one, sorry, and volume two. I've already read both of these. Um, they're okay. It's about a boy who is wrongly accused of murdering his classmates and he's sent to um, this place called Dead Man Wonderland, this really bizarre place um, where members of the public can watch the criminals do things as a form of entertainment. I quite liked them. They weren't as good as the monster series that I've been reading but they're okay. I don't think I'll be rushing out to buy any more of this series just yet, but I probably will continue it at some point. Um, and then the two graphic novels that I picked up are Fables. This is volume one, and I believe this is about a world where all the where all the characters from fairy tales live. I don't know, um, and it's like a crimey murder mystery sort of revolving around that. So um, the guy in the shop said it was good, so I thought we'd give it a go. Um, and while I was there, I couldn't resist picking this one up because I just think it's beautiful. And it's this one, and it's called The Wicked and the Divine. Um, and all it says on the back is, Every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. They are loved, they are hated. In two years, they are all dead. It's happening now, it's happening again. So it sounds amazing. And I have to say that the um, graphics in it are pretty incredible. Here we are. They're pretty incredible. Well, the lighting doesn't really show them to the best. It's a bit orangey, but yeah, they're pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to um, giving these to a go. Next book I was actually sent, um, which I'm quite excited about actually, and that is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella, here on U YouTube, um, as I'm sure you all know. And this is her first novel. I'm I'm really excited to read this because, you know, she's had a lot of kind of backlash about, oh, it's been so easy for her to publish a novel, yet there are writers that have been trying for years and can't get their works published. So I'm intrigued to see actually if it really is any good. I know it's about a girl who, like, blogs and it kind of sounds like she's talking about herself, I think, from what this is about. So, yeah, I look forward to... Um, giving this one a go. The next book I picked up is actually Sue Morrow's Fault, my good friend Sue Morrow, whose channel here on YouTube is of course um, Sue Morrow. And um, basically when I just put up my um, TBR shelf tour, she noticed that I had this in the um, graphic novel, for the manga form, sorry, the manga form. And she told me that it'd come out in a novel and I was like, oh my god, I have to have that right now. And so I went and I ordered it straight away. So this is your fault, Sue. And that is Another by Yuki, 
Yukito Ayatsuji. I probably completely butchered that. Again, you can't really see how beautiful this cover is because of the terrible lighting. Um, but this just sounds like, it sounds like my perfect book, really. Um, it's about, it's set in Japan and it's about vengeful spirits and a cursed um, class at a school. It just sounds really, really good and I'm so excited to get into this one, really excited. It's a, kind, it's a bit of a monster, but yeah, really looking forward to that one. The next book that I picked up is Harry's Last Stand by Harry Leslie Smith. This is a non-fiction um, and for some reason I just wanted to read this for a long time. Um, he was a, he's a guy, um, well, he's 91 years old and he's fought like in the wars and um, you know he's seen a lot of life and this is basically about what his generation kind of did for the country and like how it's changed and you know what we can do to like make the country good again that kind of thing so I'm really looking forward to reading this one actually and it's only short so it shouldn't take me too long but I've heard that it's pretty amazing I then picked up Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle the reason that I picked this up is because every year at Christmas I have wanted to read this and I've put off buying it and then Christmas has come and gone and I kind of feel like I've missed out again because obviously it's a Christmas book. Um, and so this was on the buy one get one half price deal in Waterstones. And so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to leave it this time. I'm going to pick it up, give it a go. Um, so it's just three different Christmas stories written, as I said, by John Green, Warren Johnson and Lauren Miracle. Um, and I think they all connect in some way. I'm not sure, but that's I think that's what I've heard. Yeah, really looking forward to giving this one a go in December. Today I popped out and I went into Waterstones and I picked up another book by Kevin Brooks. As you can see, I'm pretty obsessed by him at the moment. And I picked up The Danger Game. Oh, you can't see this one at all. Oh, there we go. I picked up The Danger Game. Um, and this is about a boy whose parents are murdered. And I think he's... He, he's starts up his own private like investigation to kind of find out what happened to them because he doesn't believe it's an accident like everyone's saying so it sounds really good and as I say I'm loving his books at the moment lastly while I was out today I popped into my local charity shop as I always do when I'm out and yeah I kind of went a bit crazy this whole bag is filled with books it's funny because sometimes I'll go into a charity shop and I'll find nothing and other times like today, I will just find a crazy amount. So, um, the first one that I got is non-fiction. And it's called Houses of Death. Horrific Secrets Behind Closed Doors by Gordon Kerr. And it looks like this. Um, and yeah, this is a true crime book. I, You guys know I'm a criminology student, so I love my true crime stuff. And this was one ninety nine, And it's in near perfect condition really it doesn't look like it's ever been read um i'm not going to show you any of the pictures from inside this book because some of them aren't very nice so i don't think it would be nice to show in case you're younger and you're watching um but i love things like this so look forward to going through that one the next book that i got and this is probably the one that i am most excited about i literally i squealed when i saw this on the shelves i couldn't believe they had it um, and it's The X-Files, Book of the Unexplained by Jane Goldman. And it looks like this. Now, you guys know how much I love The X-Files. Every time I see something related to The X-Files, I have to buy it. Like, I can't not buy it. And I just, I saw this for £2. And it's in really good condition. And it's got Mulder and Scully on the back, which is exciting. Um, and I was just like, I have to... I have to have this and it looks like a really interesting book and it's got all the different like X-Files episodes on it and oh oh it just sounds amazing I'm so excited that I found this one Relentless by Dean Koontz I always pick up any Dean Koontz books that I see because I collect them um, and I haven't actually heard of this one um, it's about a guy who um, 
I think he writes a book and someone writes him a bad review and I think then he kind of loses the plot and decides to take revenge, I think. So, um, it's a book about books, that's always a good sign. The Last Child by John Hart. This one sounds extremely good. I have to say as well, these are all in really good condition. Really good condition. Um, and this is about a boy who... His twin sister's gone missing, and so is his... So is his father, I think. Yeah, his twin sister's gone missing, and his father has disappeared. And the police don't seem to be doing anything about his sister. So he decides that he is going to start his own little investigation to kind of find out um, what has happened to her. So I thought it sounded really intriguing. I love, I love things like this. And it was the name that drew me to it. A lot of the time it's names on a book that draws me to things, and this one, it definitely, definitely did. And it said it's a winner of a crime thriller award. So that's good. Hold Tight by Harlan Coben. Now, I have wanted to read a book by Harlan Coben for such a long time, but there's so many of them, um, and I never know which one to go for. But then I saw this one in the charity shop, and I just thought, that sounds amazing. I'm just going to go for it this time. Um, and it says on the back, Tia and Mike never thought they would spoil their kids, but their 16-year-old son Adam has been unusually distant lately after the suicide of his classmate. So they installed a sophisticated spy programme on Adam's computer. Within days they are jolted by a cryptic message, just stay quiet and all safe. Meanwhile, an online memorial for the dead boy, there is a photo that appears to have been taken on the night of his death. It looks like Adam, but when Adam goes missing, it becomes clear that something deeper and more sinister is going on something that could tear the family apart so this one sounds incredible in fact i think i might read this one next because that just sounds really amazing now i've read it again it sounds even better so that's that one uh, my mum picked one up as well she picked up bloodline by mark billingham um, we both really like mark billingham um, and we saw this one which is about a infamous serial killer um you all know how much i like my serial killer books and me and my mum we have pretty much exact same taste in books so yeah sounds pretty good then the last book that I picked up um I was so excited to find this because I've actually been this has been on my Amazon wish list for quite a long time um and it's called Ox Crimes and this is an anthology of 27 it says killer stories and they are written by some pretty amazing authors so you've got Anthony Horowitz, Stuart Neville, Neil Gaiman, Alexander McCall Smith, Louise Welsh, Mark Billingham whose book I just showed, uh, Val McDermid, I mean there's just some pretty, Ian Rankin, John Harvey, John Connolly, there's some pretty amazing writers in this book, it just looks pretty incredible um, so very much looking forward to reading this and there's even some Christmassy crime stories as well so that's perfect for this time of the year. So that's it, that is my book haul. Apologies for how long this video is, I know there was an awful lot of books to get through in this one but as I say it will be my last one now until after Christmas. Um, the next video I've got coming up is my November favourites so that should be up in the next couple of days. As always let me know down below if you've bought any new books this month and what you're currently reading that kind of stuff and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!